What is up, YouTube? This is Tap with Four Guys in a Comic, and today I'm going to go be going over my uh, graphic novel collection. You know, uh, Nova did a post a few weeks ago with his massive collection. Red just did one with his Image Comics collection. So I thought I would do one of my graphic novels. Now, I've only been collecting a handful of months compared to Nova, who's been collecting for a couple of years, and he just... Well, his is just damn right impressive. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my collection and uh, show you guys what I've been doing over the past few months. So... First of all, we have Absolute Sandman. I absolutely love these books. I just acquired them last week. Actually, most of these I've acquired probably within the last month or two. Uh, but the Facebook Omni group on the Facebook uh, group chat has been phenomenal with this. So we have uh, Absolute Sandman, Volumes 1 through 4. Uh, Multiversity, Grant Morrison, gotta love it. Uh, the New Flash Omnibus. Uh, Gotham Central. Uh, which everybody said I've been needing to read, so I'm actually looking forward to getting to that one. Uh, then we also have the Powers Definitive Collection, Volumes 1 through 3. Uh, there's a total of six volumes, so I still need to get the other three. Uh, but they're pretty cheap, they're not too bad. Um, I have the entire run of Ultimate Fantastic Four hardcovers, including the Ultimatum Companion, which had the last few issues in there. Um, and then some of like the, you know, the little smaller titles and books and stuff. A um, couple things I want to point out, though. First of all, Chimichanga. If you are an Eric Powell fan, if you are a Goon fan, you owe yourself to read Chimichanga. This is Volume 1. Uh, volume 2 is currently being printed right now, uh, so you need to be checking out Chimichanga. Also, big shout out to David Gallagher, the only living boy. Um, he's done, uh, it's kind of more of a young reader book, uh, but it works out really well for adults too. Him and Steve Ellis do a really great job on it. Uh, this is Volume 2. I want to say there's three or four volumes out right now that you can buy, um, so I do strongly recommend those. Um, then you have the Green Lantern, Jeff Johns, Omnibuses, Volumes 1 through 3. Really great stuff there. Uh, JSA, Volumes 1 and 3. I'm missing Volume 2. Maybe one day I'll, I'll be able to acquire Volume 2. Uh, the 52 Companion Omnibus, uh, Teen Titans, Jeff Johns. Thing is massive. I was not expecting a book to be that big, honestly, when I got it. I was... I was pretty shocked at how big it was. Um, then we also have Animal Man Omnibus, which for this one is a huge uh, personal whale of mine. Uh, it took forever every time I thought I would get it. Uh, something would happen, it would fall through. But I'm so glad I finally did. I read it through last week, and it is by far one of the greatest books that I've ever read. Um, Grant Morrison is just a literary genius. Um, so yeah, speaking of Grant Morrison, absolute all-star Superman. A uh, nice little Marvel Spider-Man Chronicle collection thing. It was a pretty cheap pickup that I got one year. Uh, Absolute Preacher, probably one of my second favorite books that I have. I was really excited for Volume 2 to be dropping in May until I found out that it was only like 12 issues and then it was like side stories. Um, I was really hoping for another massive Absolute kind of like this one was, but unfortunately that's not what we're getting, so we'll see. Um, Ecstatics, I'm currently reading through. A lot of fun. Really enjoying Mike Allred's uh, art in that. New X-Men, once again, Grant Morrison. You gotta love Grant. Uh, Fatal Attractions, New X-Men. The next omnibus I'm probably gonna start reading, honestly, is gonna be Superior Foes of Spider-Man. Uh, 17 issues in this, but it's pretty thin. It's not really that big of a book, yet Marvel considers it an omnibus, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, that they wouldn't consider, like, for instance, Fatal Attractions omnibus. You know, this one is, is pretty small. Um, oh, some encyclopedias there. And then last but not least, book that I acquired today, probably the biggest book in my entire collection, is Big Damn Sin City. Uh, Frank Miller. Now, for those of you guys, if you've never seen this book, this thing is freaking just massive. I mean, I thought Teen Titans was huge. This thing is just absolutely downright incredibly just god awful. I think it weighs like 12 pounds. I mean, this book is just huge. Um, so, you know, yeah, you got some awesome classic Frank Miller work in here, which is another book I'm really excited to dive into. I just didn't realize the sheer size of this thing. Nova even tried to warn me on how big it was, and he's like, you're going to be impressed. And I was like, yeah, we'll see. But no, it's, that's massive. So, there you have it, folks, my overall, uh, collection. I've only, like I said, only been collecting a few months. Uh, compared to Nova, who's been collecting for a couple of years, so I don't have nearly the collection he does, nor do I think I ever will. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of an overview of that. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and uh, yeah, if anybody's 
has a JSA two or you know some defense oh some scalped scalped volumes one through five anybody has any of those available hit me up on youtube i'd, I'd be interested maybe we can work out a trade or something so all right until then until next time uh follow us on youtube as well um be sure to click the link like our stuff also check us out every saturday four guys in a comic where our podcast on all of your podcast channels whether it be itunes podbean Stitcher, Google Play, doesn't matter what it is. Hit us up, follow us every Saturday. So until then, the power is yours.